go. Hiya. Right, what we're going to do for you this afternoon is going to show you a video which is going to look at a fitness circuit and we're hopefully that at home you can have a go at doing it yourself and record your results. So a couple of points to bear in mind. One, compete at your own pace in a safe manner. Number two, record your results. So for each station that you do, record your results for each one. Share them with friends, a little competition, see who gets the most on each station. You can then redo it again, see who can improve it. Three, try and complete the circuit three times. And what I've said is that you'll do, first of all, 30 seconds on each station with a 30 second rest. One minute at each station with a 45 second rest. And then finally, a further one minute at each station, but this time with a 30 second rest. Try and increase your intensity. Intensity is basically work harder each time, and just so you push yourself a little bit more to try and get better results. <clears throat> All of that we've done is with no equipment, so everyone should be able to do it at home. Just make sure you've got your PE kit on and your trainers to take part. What we're going to do now, and the PE stuff we're going to do, is we're going to demonstrate each station, have a watch, record results, and good luck. We're going to move over to Miss Knight. Thank you. So I'm going to do an easy version and a hard version. Easy version, hands on the hips and going forward. We're going to do that to the side. You should have a right angle on the knee. Stepping forward, interchanging your legs. Harder version is add a jump to it. Again, keeping a nice right angle at the knee. Okay, next station is your bench steps. So to use the stairs in your house or a step to get into your house at the front or the back. It'll be both feet up onto the bench or to the step and then back down. Next one will be shuttle runs. So you can vary the distance. Obviously we're going to use a sport tour, so I'm just going to go from one side of the sport tour to the other, which is probably about 10 metres if so. Cross to there and back, obviously as many times as you can. So sprinting out. Nice turn to the line. And back to your strike position, which will be one. And as many times as you can do in that time frame. Miss Knight for squats. Squats again, I'm going to show you an easy version and a harder version. Easy version, just planting, again we're going from the right angle at the knee, back straight, squat and squeeze at the top. Harder version, we're going to add a jump in, so again right angle, keeping that form and just adding a jump in. To me, just recovering after the shuttles. Right, we're going to do press ups. So, oh alternate press ups. You can do it on your knees, hands shoulder width apart, and just down to the ground and back up as one. It's an easy one. If you're a bit more confident, then go to a normal press up. Feet out to the back, shoulders up, and again down to the ground and back up. Trying to maybe go a fist or so off the ground if you go down for your press up. Again, record results each time. Who's next? Next one is the plank, similar to the press-ups, you can easier version is starting on your knees and the harder version is on your feet. So on your knees, using the whole of your forearm, tucking the bottom in and holding like this. Harder version, up on the feet, trying to keep your body as straight as possible and holding for as long as you can. Sit-ups, if you've got somewhere that can support your feet, you can use that. But knees at 90 degrees on your back. Hands on the thighs, you can simply lift up to your knees and back down. Or hands behind your ears, up to your knees and back down for one. Okay, back to me on your step again. This one is your tricep dips, which is the muscle at the back of your arms. You put your hands flat on the step or the bench and get your legs straight, arms straight and all you're going to do is drop your bum towards the floor, bend your elbows and push yourself backward. Start jumps, hands and feet together, all you're going to do is bring your arms out and legs out at the same time. One, two, three. And the final one is for your balance, and it's doing the stalk. So tucking your foot into your knee, hands above your head, and trying to see if you can hold it without wobbling or falling. 
for the full 30 seconds. Try to focus on a point on the floor or a point on the wall and see if you can hold your balance. Good luck. Make sure you record all of your results. If you get any videos, let us see when you're back in. Speak to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>